I've been asked to explain part D of question number 6. So line L1 is 13, 15, minus 8 plus lambda 3, 3 minus 4 and line L2 is 7 minus 6 14 plus mu that is 2 minus 3 and 2 these are the two lines say this is L1 and this is L2 in the first part we have proved that they are intersecting at point B and the position vector of B is 1 3 and 8 there is another point A and the position vector of A is minus 5 minus 3 16 minus 5 minus 3 and 16 that is the position vector of A this we have proved here minus 5 minus 3 16 and this so the A lies on L now the part D says this is another point C and it is given it is given that It's given that AB is equal to BC. This one is given. The value of lambda we have proved at A is minus 6. The value of lambda we have proved at B is minus 4. So the value of lambda at C will be minus 2 because these are equal and these are the position vector of C, position vector of B and position vector of A. So it's called a bus stop approach. If these two are equal and the position vector is negative 6, negative 4, so definitely this will be negative 2. So that was the one of the question asked why the lambda is negative 2. This is, the, this is a very short method to to find the position vector of C so to get the position vector of C we are going to use lambda we are going to use L1 because this is on L1 so what we are going to do is 13 15 minus 8 plus we are going to put the value of lambda minus 2 and that is 3 3 and negative 4 so we can see that 13 minus 6 is 7 15 minus 6 is 9 and 8 minus 8 is 0 so this is the value of the position vector of C will be 7 9 Zero. So that is that is seven i plus nine j. This is a very short method if if you have the concept of uh, the bus stop approach. It's it, it's easy to find this value. If there is another point here, same distance, say point D is here, so the lambda will be minus eight. If the point here, so you can calculate it that way that is the first method now there is another method that is method number 2 we have to find the position vector of C so we know that 
Let's take BC. BC is equal to C minus B. We have to calculate C. So C will be B plus BC. And B is 138. plus BC. BC is equal to AB. So, we have to find the position vector of AB. So, AB, to calculate AB, that is B minus A. So, B is 138 minus a is minus 5 minus 3 minus, uh, plus 16 so that will be equal to 1 plus 5 6 3 plus 3 6 and 8 minus 16 minus 8 so that is a B and A B is equal to B C. So this is the the vectors for B C. So that will be six six minus eight. So that is equal to one plus six seven three plus six nine and eight minus eight zero. So that will be seven I plus 9j so so that, that that is the answer so we have proved in in two different different way but I'm but I'm happy that somebody has asked me that uh, because he was not able to understand this so whenever you have a problem please do ask and thank you very much for watching if you have any problem, please do ask me. I'll explain it again. Thank you.